everybody, and welcome to my brother, my brother, me, and advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. I'm your sweet baby brother, 30 under 30, media luminary, Griffin McElroy. All right, then, listen. What? <laughs> oh, Justin. All right, then, listen. Oh, jeez. I got a soundboard. Yeah, so Is that's that, going to yeah. be a new thing that the ruins, or maybe finalizes the sort of concept of this show. Tonight! Okay. You know, Is people it- have said what what I wish I wish that my brother, my brother and me was more like an early two thousands like morning drive time <laughs> radio show. <laughs> and we have the pest in there too. <laughs> now Oh, that's a lot of the past. I, I would love, I would actually prefer these to be like short sort of uh, yelps or barks and not uh, extended it. clips of the past. Not the entirety of the not past. Not the entirety of the, you don't have a button map to the entirety of the past, I'm hoping. I'm going to. Okay. okay, so you All do right. have a button map to the entirety of the yeah, past. Yeah, that's the entirety of the past, just for that and one And what did button. you, when you knew a newer program, by the way, special thanks to Roman Mars 99% Invisible for sabotaging our show by showing Justin how to do this. Um, I'm assuming that's where you gleaned this particular... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, When you were programming in your board and you put in the entirety of the Pest intro, the hit John Leguizamo feature film, um, what did you think the use case for that was going to be like what did you think was going to be the time of the show like if where? we started talking about it i could just like start playing it but then wow that's a, remember to but s- stop playing it but it's a little bit it of an ouroboros isn't it justin an ouroboros yeah you know, where it's like you started playing it so that we would talk about the intro and then you're like oh the intro you mean this all right then listen so it's, okay. it's kind of like a john leguizamo causal loop is what yeah. you've established here now i did put Inspired by you last night, Griffin, I did put something on here oh, that oh, I kind of thought you would. Oh, please talk about. Please, I thought you would talk. Please about hit it. it. What? Okay. Do you want the intro or no intro? Just hit. Don't no intro. I put my hand inside a toilet. Oh, oh thank you, Justin. What? You, you, you heard it. Maybe one more. I put my hand inside a toilet. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> what is this? I mean, this show's going to be... Please just stop Just explain. I, I'm going to stop it. Now, explain to Travis what he's just heard. I mean, I don't think it's the kind of thing that plays just by hearing it, but it made me personally very happy. There's a company called Brain Power Media that makes a bunch of really great films, as far as I can tell, including Best Friend from Heaven in which Chris Christopherson voices a dog who dies but then comes back from the dead to help his owners plan a wedding. Uh-huh. Um, and then there's a, a movie <laughs> called the, a, a Witch's Ball in which a man gets on stage and sings a beautiful song about how he put his hand inside a toilet. And so all of that is... A ext- toilet. Oh. Yeah. Like that. Like that. What, what, what does it sound like? Because I was talking over. I put my hand inside a toilet. Yes. So... That's the song I put me. Okay, and then stop it because it's so loud. It's very loud. And uh, this show's not going to be a thing people can consume for entertainment anymore, I think, maybe. Like, it's becoming more avant garde uh-huh. in a way, which maybe. More experimental. Yeah, so maybe we'll get tar- talked about on all the big art blogs. Every frame of painting is going to come out of retirement. Yeah. I don't know much about the Beatles, but this is probably like our revolver or our Sgt. Pepper period. Yeah, the McRoys have changed what it means to podcast because podcasting used to be a thing that people could enjoy. Yeah, and it is. Yeah, no, no! Okay. yeah. And no, now the and McRoy it, brothers are challenging you to just try to enjoy their show. Just yeah. try it. And it's a lot like Revolver in that it feels like we are trying to shoot our listeners' ears off mm-hmm. with right. a, a, yes. a, like a gun made of bad audio, like a bad yes. audio experience. So, like a love yes. gun made of bad audio, just to tie back in the kiss <laughs> connection. So maybe we put the a soundboard inside a toilet. Uh huh. Okay. And flush it down to sewer hell. So we kind of want to do some old school ma bim bam without the soundboard. Yeah. We got a lot of stuff here tonight. You don't mind if we go way back to old school kids, do ya? Okay, so there is some. Now, I, now I'm starting to turn around on the soundboard because there is some <laughs> topical stuff on there. So topical humor, yeah. Okay, I'm done. 
Yeah. Well, oh, you must have just in your elbow that brushed, brushed up. I brushed. Yeah, I brushed a button on there. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to set the soundboard. That was a lot of fart noise. What's sad, Justin, is now we've used up all our whole fart noise <laughs> budget. I don't episode. know how we're gonna get through a show. Yeah, we actually have to use dip into our 2018 was... fart noise budget. Uh, so this is my brother, my brother and me. We it's a vice show for the modern era. Uh, we're kind of out of the advice thing. And more sort of focused on this soundboard. 